G'day folks, well, welcome to part 2 of the PS3 Autopsy. We've already had a look at the top half of it. Uh, let's have a look at the bottom half, which is the main board and cooling assembly. I believe most of these units are sort of half and half heat sink and actual equipment. As you can see, the whole top of this main board's heat sink and underneath should be the same. I'm taking some screws out so it should lift straight out. Big fan, it's a very big fan, and likewise a lot of very blocked cooling ducts and vents. Hmm. Yeah, this one's. Let's see. Does, doesn't exactly have a model code. It's a date code seven A. Is the date code probably two thousand seven? Hmm. Either way, this one's seen better days. <laughs> That's nasty. But what we have, very big Nidec uh, DC 12 volt fan. And it's a very big fan. Oh yeah, don't be tempted to spin your fans up really fast if, with an air nozzle. You will generate power using the motor and actually uh, damage some of the boards. In rare cases, it doesn't always happen, but it does happen sometimes. I don't want to use this thing again, so I'll show you what really happens. You can get it pretty fast but that was actually generating power and probably putting it back to the main board. <laughs> Again, as you can tell, I'm a PC gamer. I have no interest in consoles. But this one was sent in for full autopsy and I will not disappoint. Okay, mains input socket which is an IEC socket with its own switch and what looks like a ferrite suppression or noise suppression bead in there. That's kind of handy. And again, lots of heat sinks. And very corroded sockets. Very, very corroded sockets. This one spent a few weeks out in the weather, according to the guy who donated it. And yeah. It's quite a mess. There's a lot of corrosion in this thing. As you can see the main board sandwiched between two layers of heatsink material. Let's get some screws out and go from there. Okay, well the main fan's pretty easy to remove. Through three screws. And that's it. Not a bad little unit. Nidec, what was it, D14F-12BS1, 12 volt DC, 2.65 amps, made in China. Of course the whole damn thing's going to be made in China. <laughs> and you can see the heat sinks, it's like a damn nuclear reactor. <laughs> Looks a lot better built than the bloody Xbox. I'll give them that much. There's a lot more work going into this thing. And that's probably the CPU and I'm guessing that's a GPU. But then again, seeing what consoles are like, they're probably combined. Who knows? It could be a North Bridge, that could be a GPU CPU combo. And we've got heat sinks coming out to this heat this uh heat pipes coming out to this heat sink. There's also a uh, lithium 2032 battery.
Okay, it's the lower heat sink removed. There's a lot of scrape marks on this. You can see where it's been hitting some of the components almost. Yeah. Could be transportation damage. I don't know, those scrapes look awfully. Uh... Mm. Something bad's happened in here. Who knows? Could be part of the tooling that was punching it out. Very shoddy old Chinese tooling. Yeah, there's marks, little chips and marks on the uh, other side of the cover too. Probably just shit tooling and rough handling. Very typical. On that side, that's definitely the CPU there. That'll be a North Bridge slash GPU. And then again, what's that? Might be South Bridge. Mm, who knows? Consoles are different to me compared with main boards, computers, regular stuff that everybody else uses. Oh, look at that. Heat pipe mayhem. <laughs> it's definitely better built than the Xboxes are. And a lot more cooling. So I got those two. And the fan just screws in accordingly. There. That's one big ass CPU cooler. <laughs> it even breaks down into segments, that part there will come out. Hmm. Nice. Okay, so what we've got left is the main board assembly. Um, Taking two screws out of the uh, expansion slot caddy or hard drive caddy, whatever you want to call it. I think that's the hard drive side. Uh, this unit didn't come with a hard drive either, so no good SATA hard drive for me. But we can remove the lower heat sink, just alloy plating, not much to it. It's just crap metal. And we have some components. Looks like these regs got fairly hot. I can see a lot of yellowing on the board and everything. It's kind of nasty. A lot of corrosion around the outer edges where it's been drenched in water and other crap. I mean, smelling cigarette smoke residue as well, so it's a fair bit of damage there. Bit of padding from one of the uh, chips. Definitely gotten pretty hot. Heat sink compound's all dried up, nasty. I'm guessing the uh, CPU overheated, probably in a very big way. Although, don't know what's CPU or GPU. Let's clean these up and find out what's what. In that one, smells smells burnt. It's all blackened and nasty. It might be, de uh, it's probably designed that way, but it smells cooked. Very cooked. A grounding tab. Well, Sony certainly throw a lot more chips into this mix. We've got the reality synthesizer, the uh, cell broadband engine, guessing also known as a CPU. Uh, is that one up there? Which is a CXD 297-9GB. Interesting. That's a CDX 2964GB. And that's a 
CD, sorry, CXD2971 DGB. Interesting stuff. A lot more componentry than Xbox 360. Various RAM chips. A lot of RAM chips. The camera's about to run out of battery, but we'll go to the bitter end. And that one there goes up to whatever that is, probably another Wi-Fi receiver or something, wireless control receiver. No, it's heatsink material. It's attached to something serious. Either way, it goes up towards the uh, communications port. But yeah, we cleaned all the crap off with a bit of uh, methyl ethyl ketone. Kind of knocks this stuff around. Okay, well, gave it a bit of a clean down and nothing really much else exposed. You just got RAM chips, voltage regulation for CPU and GPU packs. Yeah, reality synthesizer, I'm guessing is GPU and uh, that one there's a CPU connected through to, through to the uh, other three. It's like a South Bridge, North Bridge GPU, CPU. I don't really know. <laughs> Consoles are fairly alien to me. Those USB ports are nasty. I wouldn't stick anything in there if I valued it. <laughs> Yuck. My mouse would get an STD if I stuck it in there. Yeah. It's a good thing this thing's going to a good home. Probably glued onto the wall in the shed. That's about it. So yeah, PS3 Autopsy. First generation PS3. Interesting stuff. Looks better built than the uh, Xbox, but then they both fail. Xbox does the red ring of death, this one does the yellow light of death. And that's exactly what this thing did. More than likely one of those big BGA chips has bad solder joints. Gotta love old lead free solder compared with the uh, old fashioned stuff which used to last a lifetime. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for loads more.